our fantastic It's 2019. So y'all, we are kicking off 2019 with a boom, And y'all, this one's gonna be iconic. I realized the other day that I have never done a McDonald's versus Burger King food battle. I have done McDonald's versus Wendy's, Burger King versus Sonic, but never Burger King versus McDonald's. Y'all, both of these restaurants are that bitch. They're the main burger restaurants, and today we are gonna find out which is better, in my opinion. <laughs> disclaimer, this is not sponsored by either restaurant or anything else. Also, second disclaimer, yes, I have a unibrow at the moment. Yes, I have to get my hair cut at the moment. Yes, I have to shave. Let me get my 2019 together, y'all, before you judge me. <laughs> I look like trash, but guess what? You do too. We can just be piles of trash together. We can exchange banana peels. Also, I announced in my last video that I have started a art Patreon, y'all. As some of y'all know, I'm a digital artist. So <laughs> I thought if y'all support me on Patreon, why not give you physical prints of my art? So for example, if you give $5, you'll get like a mini print. If you give 10, you'll get like a medium print. 25, you'll get like a big print, eight by 10. And also I have some commission tiers. Um, and every tier after the 25 one, so $25 and up, will get a personal video message from me specifically made for you a little selfie style video that comes with like the package after $25. So go check it out if you're interested. Here's some of my art if you haven't seen it. This is digital art. If you're a Patreon, you'll get a new piece of art every month. I'm working on a lot more drawing, so stay tuned. And yes, that is a tomato princess that I created. Her name is Princess Marianara, like marinara. <laughs> her voice sounds just like mine, and she's half tomato, half princess, and y'all are gonna get to know her because she'll be in a lot of my videos, so stay tuned. And also check out my Instagram because I'm going to be announcing kind of like Instagram limited edition type of sales of my prints, of like different prints than the Patreon ones on my Instagram as well. So if you don't want to do like the whole monthly Patreon thing, there's going to be separate Instagram things as well. So go follow me there. And I'm also going to start doing commissions on Instagram so y'all can email me at my business email if you want a commission. And I super quickly want to say thank you to my six Patreons because y'all, they supported me from the star, aka last week. <laughs> so I just want to say thank you to Henry. You slay me, Henry. Your art is amazing. Aliyah, we've been messaging a bit on uh, Patreon and she's the sweetest. Thank you, Aliyah. Brian, Brian slays. Thank you, Brian. And thank you so much, Taylor. Taylor Swift was found farting, okay? This is the real Taylor. Also, thank you so much, Abby. You are beautiful. Thank you so much. And Claire. Claire was my first Patreon ever, so thank you so much, Claire. I love all six of you so much. Okay, so let's start the food battle! By the way, y'all, I have to make a food battle intro. I have not made that yet. In this episode of Food Battle, we have seven rounds. If you don't know how this works, I get very similar items from both restaurants and then compare them. Whoever wins that item gets a point, and the restaurant with the most points at the end of the video wins the, the food battle. Yeah. The rounds are french fries, chicken nuggets, Apple pie dessert, side salad, cheap cheeseburgers, chicken sandwiches, and their main signature burgers, AKA the Whopper versus the Big Mac. So let's start. Let me go get my lighting. <laughs> Yo, I need to learn my angles because I, I look like a hairy swollen potato in that intro. Let me put all hairy swollen potatoes. <laughs> Wait, let me get my thumbnail, y'all. <laughs> I don't think that I've ever done a food battle where every item is so similar to the other. It's insane. Like, look at these two chicken sandwiches. They have like the same shiny ass bun. Like what? First things first, let's try the basic mini burgers. Z A Z Z Y Z Z just call my eye. Sweat dripping down my crack. So I got a cheeseburger from Burger King and a cheeseburger from McDonald's. I think they both look great. They're both just like simple, tiny burgers. Make some room, bitch. They're both one of the cheapest things on the menu. I think they're both around or under a dollar, I think. I think. So they're very affordable. If you just want like a quick little cheap snack, they're perfect. That's what's on them. So, okay, Burger King has one long pickle. Um, cheese, a meat patty, and ketchup and mustard. And the McDonald's has little chopped onions, a pickle, um, cheese, and ketchup and mustard. So they're very similar, y'all. They're like twins, but McDonald's has something special. They have the onions. Let's see which one's better. So here is Burger King. Mmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Burger King's burgers, even like the simple cheap ones, they all have a very smoky grilled flavor. It's signature, it's so good. Snatch me. Now McDonald's. Mm-hmm. 
So good. A little dry. It's lacking a little bit. And I love McDonald's, but the patty is a little too salty. Just a little too salty. But of course, y'all, it's McDonald's. It's delicious. They look similar, but they're both very, very different. Oh, y'all. I think the winner of the simple cheeseburger battle is burning. <coughs> There's something really juicy about it. The patty has more flavor, more grilled flavor, you know? And it's a tiny bit thicker. They're both great, but Burger King gets this point. I'm gonna twerk until you marry me. Daddy, daddy, please, please. Daddy, I think you're gonna name me. So both restaurants do have their own side salads. This is McDonald's. It actually looks pretty healthy. I remember eating this in my last McDonald's taste test and <laughs> I'll keep my opinions until I taste it again, okay? But I'm very curious to see how it holds up with the Burger King one. This looks a lot better than this one. Like, Burger King gives me tomato and cheese. This gives me some darker lettuce <laughs> and some shaved carrots. Do we know her? We don't know her, okay? We don't know Miss Shaved Carrot. So McDonald's comes with Newman's Own Ranch, okay? And then Burger King comes with Ken's Ranch. Now, let me just say, both restaurants need to step it up and add croutons, okay? They're cheap, they're delicious, and they enhance every salad. Listen to me, okay? Croutons. So let's add Burger King's Ranch. Ooh. And here's McDonald's. It's a little darker in color. Okay, let's first try BK. Mix it up a little bit. Mmm. Mmm. I think I've tried this before. It is so good. That's a great ranch. It's kind of tart, like a little sour in a good way. The tomatoes taste fresh. They add a lot. The cheese is so good. Lettuce feels fresh. I like this like plain lettuce. That is a perfect side salad. That is delicious. Now let's taste McDonald's. Haven't had this in a while. <laughs> let's get some shaved carrot, some purple lettuce, some green lettuce, some every lettuce. Let's see. Oh, in my opinion, that is the worst ranch I've ever had. The sister I never had. <laughs> the mother I always wanted. It has a weird texture. It's way too sweet. In my opinion, it's flat out gross. No offense, McDonald's, but damn. Oh, okay. So the winner of the side salad battle is Burger King. Amazing. Snatched. Yeah. So Burger King has two points. McDonald's has zero. I take my body. Body. I think you're gonna make me queef. Body. Next up, let's do dessert, y'all. So I got apple pies from both restaurants. Uh, Burger King has more of a traditional apple pie, and McDonald's has more of an apple pastry. See, it's shaped like this. It's like a, it's like a little mini strudel. I felt like Heidi Klum for a second. Oh, my God. Let's first try McDonald's. Oh, my God, yes. Oh, lovely. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It has a great, crispy, sugary-coated crust. That tastes amazing, and the filling is very good. It isn't very like chunky, like there's not like huge chunks of apple. Almost kind of pasty, but in a good way. So delicious. Now let's try Burger King. I see apple chunks in it. Oh, oh my god, looks so good. <laughs> it's good, but if I didn't have McDonald's before it, I wouldn't have noticed that the apples taste kind of canned. Um. There's kind of a sweetness there that isn't my favorite. In my opinion, it tastes pretty artificial. Of course, you know, this is fast food. But McDonald's just has a flavor that's like very home cooked. So the winner of the dessert battle is McDonald's! Ronald! So McDonald's has one point, Burger King has two points. Daddy, please, please! Daddy, just ask me out. The whole world just heard me shout. Now so I think this is called like the buttermilk crispy chicken sandwich from McDonald's. I think something like that. Something crispy. And then this is the crispy chicken sandwich from Burger King. Let's see what's on them. So Burger King's has this very like realistic looking patty. It looks like a like chicken breast that's been flattened and fried, which is very comforting. I love that. It has mayonnaise underneath and on top, I think, and tomato and lettuce. I don't see anything else. Correct me if I'm wrong. And it has a very shiny bun. And the McDonald's has a shiny bun as well. It's more firm. And it has mayonnaise, lettuce, tomato, and a very realistic looking chicken breast as well. We love, we love chicken chicken titties on this channel. So let's first taste BK. Ah. Why did that remind me of? I like sparkling dresses. <laughs> Very crispy. Wow. 
Hmm. So Burger King's chicken sandwich is very crispy. Not the most flavorful to be honest. All I can taste is like mayonnaise and tomato. There's no real punch there. No big flavor. But the bun is good and it's crispy. Mm, not bad. Let's try McDonald's. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm. So y'all, I think we all know that McDonald's mayonnaise has some kind of extra flavor to it. Like it's just always had a very delicious flavor to me. And I don't even like mayonnaise, but McDonald's mayonnaise snatches me. And it really gave this chicken sandwich a lot of flavor. It was crispy also, but it had more flavor than the Burger King one. So y'all, the winner of the chicken sandwich battle is Ratna McDonald's has two points, Burger King has two points, y'all McDonald's caught up. Daddy, he looking like a snack. Da, da, daddy, I'm ready. Da, da, daddy, talk to me. Daddy, got that nice ass hair making all- We're gonna do fries, y'all. So McDonald's has such iconic fries. They're salty, they're crispy, but sometimes they're overcooked. I have noticed that, so. And Burger King also has great fries, but I don't get them often because when I'm at Burger King, I always go for them onion rings. So let's see, y'all. Okay, so let's first try Burger King's French fries. And I'm not using ketchup because like I always say, if it's a good French fry, it doesn't need ketchup. But I love ketchup, okay. Mmm. Crispy, salty enough. They're great, but they could use a little more flavor, just a little bit. I'm kind of snapped. So now let's try McDonald's, y'all. Today they're real bland. Someone forget the salt. And yes, they are kind of cold, but not too cold. They're like perfectly cold where they're not like waxy yet, so calm down. A little saltless, to be honest. What? Usually McDonald's would win, okay? They got the best fries in the game, let's be honest. But today, whoever made these, no offense to the person that made them, I understand, it's a hard job. And I'm not saying they should have made them better. I'm just saying, in a sense of a food battle, these were not salted enough at all, and they're also not that crispy, and not because they're, they're like kind of cold. They're just not... I don't think they're cooked enough or something. I don't know. Between these two today, I did enjoy Burger King's more, but I know that McDonald's usually has the better fries. So I don't know what to do really. I don't. My ass is in my hole right now. If that's possible. You know what, I have to base this on what I just ate, okay? So the winner of the fries round is Burger King! How? Usually y'all slay, but today Burger King took the round. That was a plot twist, okay? All the human stop and stare. Daddy just made me shy, cause daddy just snatched my heart. Zan, 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 I'm ready. Zan, zan. So y'all, you might be thinking, how'd you get so many chicken nuggets in this bag to me? Okay, well, I ordered through Postmates, and on Postmates, the chicken nuggets, like the 10 piece, was like a dollar and 29 cents. So I thought there was an error and that was the price of like the four piece or five piece, like whatever it is, I thought. And so I was like, okay, just in case, let me get two of them in case if it's not actually 10. But they gave me two 10 pieces. So <laughs> I have a 20 piece chicken nugget here, y'all. And then I have the 10 piece from McDonald's. So let's first try McDonald's chicken nugget. They're called the Mc McNuggets. They're great. They have a great McNugget flavor. There's nothing like a chicken McNugget though. Like it does not taste like a normal chicken nugget. It has its own flavor going on. Nothing tastes like a McNugget, but I love them. They're great. Now let's taste Burger King. I rarely ever get chicken nuggets from Burger King. Does anyone? So I really don't like remember what they taste like. Let's taste it. Mmm. Mmm. That was so good. Like, they have a great flavor. It tastes kind of like black peppery. They're great. They're, they're very good. I thought that they changed their recipe and I didn't like it anymore, but I really like these. I don't know. I think the winner of the chicken nugget battle is... Wow, so Burger King has four points and McDonald's has two. <laughs> the final round! <laughs> Clash! <laughs> the main burgers. So, from McDonald's. We have the Big Mac. Y'all know this as the bitch with layers and the bitch with that special sauce. And from Burger King, we have the Whopper. Probably one of the biggest burgers in fast food history. 
I think. I don't know. I'm talking about my ass, but it's really big. Let's first try the Big Mac. So I have loved Big Macs since childhood, but I've always thought they're a bit too small. There is the Grand Mac now. I don't know if they're still making that. It's like a bigger size Big Mac. But y'all, for being like the main Big Mac, it should be bigger. This is tiny. This has never filled me up in my life. <laughs> so as y'all know, it has pickles, onions, special sauce, cheese, patties, three buns, lettuce. What else? I don't know. Let's taste it. Mm, iconic flavor tastes like nothing else ever been done. Never the same. <laughs> no, it's iconic. Like, it's just, it's the Big Mac, you know? Like, if you're craving a Big Mac, it doesn't mean you're craving a burger. You're craving the Big Mac, okay? And actually, if you don't want, like, that heavy burger, it's perfect for that because it's, it's kind of light and airy and you don't get that heavy feeling in your stomach. At least I don't when I eat it, you know? Now, this is the Whopper. It is a heavy big ass burger it isn't too thick which i like but once again ever since childhood i have loved whoppers they've always been neck and neck in my life but now i'm tasting them together so let's see now whoppers are very different from big macs they have more of a classic burger approach so they have onions tomato lettuce i think pickles i think yes i see a pickle um mayonnaise and ketchup no mustard mm. Mm. There is something about a Whopper. Like, it looks like a basic burger. It should taste like a basic burger, but it doesn't. It has a Whopper flavor without need of any special sauce. It's like the toppings are always so fresh tasting. The meat is always so grilled tasting. The mayonnaise is always a light flavor, and the ketchup is always perfect. Oh, my God. It's so good. Oh, my God. So, I think... Oh, my God. Wait, this is hard. <laughs> the winner of the main burger battle and the whole food battle Burger King! Burger King! Yes, 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 yes! I just truly think that the Whopper is the most delicious burger of all time. I, I, I genuinely feel that in my heart, in, in my opinion, okay? So Burger King got five points, <laughs> McDonald's got two. <laughs> I did not see that happening, but let me just say I love McDonald's so much. It was just kind of outshined in this video, okay? I love them both. They're both great restaurants. Check out my Patreon. The link is at the top of the description and my Instagram if you don't want to do like the whole monthly thing. Don't forget to subscribe to become a tomato. I'll see you on next video. I love you so much. Ooh, ooh, ooh.